oftentimes these anime animation studios they will have like a photographer and they kind of go like scouting and uh, they'll take photos of places which the artists use as concepts for their art and for this particular studio they always try to make things as realistic as possible if you've never watched it before i suggest you go check it out uh, it's real good even if you're not into animations it's pretty well done anyway so knowing this i set out to go and find these different locations for different animes one of them being five centimeters a second another one being your name video coming up on that one too and then other random places like um the Sailor Moon Temple, One Punch Man locations, Tokyo Ghoul, Boy and the Beast, that kind of stuff, you know, it's, they're all really kind of fun for me. But anyways, this is a real place, it's located just outside of Tokyo, or actually it's within the outskirts of Tokyo. It's actually not hard to reach at all, but it is really out of your way. And um, when I got there... People saw me with my camera and I could kind of see them smiling because they know they knew what I was doing. Like they knew I was there because that place is really famous. Luckily, there weren't any other photographers there, just me. And it's funny because to point out, when I was uh, going around Tokyo, going to these different anime locations, oftentimes I would see other photographers there, like other otakus, um, taking their photos. So I kind of had to like wait my turn. But luckily, this one is enough out there that... Uh, people weren't going to bother me and not so far away that it's not easy to get to, you know? <clears throat> Anyways, I found the location and it was, uh, it was not far from the station. You know, it's only like a 10, 15 minute walk from the station. I know I'm going to get uh, questions like, what are the directions? How can I get there? Blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I'm not a Tokyo native. I don't live in Japan. I don't know. What I did is I went to Google and I just searched five centimeters a second real location and clicked on the first one that came up. So uh, for those of you out there who are interested in this location, you can do just that. But yeah, I took out my infrared camera. You're wondering how I got the trees pink. That's because I used a special infrared camera. It's not a filter. It's not editing. It's a modification to a camera. I have videos about that too. And that's how I was able to get these uh, pictures. And that's also how I was able to get this video. Now, uh, I really enjoy doing this. And I know it's not like the most popular kind of photography, but it's something I really enjoy. I think I'm going to spend more time looking for locations that look like they were taken out of an anime. Like I want to make a video just of things that look like an anime scene. You know, that's why uh, this year I'm going to be focusing a lot more on daytime photography. I'm still going to be shooting cyberpunk stuff. I'm still going to be shooting at night. I'm still going to be shooting uh, in the rain. But I want to post a lot more daytime shots because uh, uh, I want to keep growing. I want to keep changing things up and making things look different. I think I'm moving more towards like conceptual photography. I mean, these are still real locations. But I want them to be more like things you see in the movie or in a scene. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've been doing the whole cyberpunk stuff for like a few years now already. So I do want to challenge myself to do different things. What better way than to shoot uh, during the daylight for me? Because mostly I'm a night photographer. But anyways, you can go there given the right time of the day. Because um, when you shoot is very important. Um, I shot there just around right before sundown, uh, before golden hour, but it was very important for me because I had to shoot so many other places, which I'm going to be making videos about. Some astute viewers might have noticed that I changed my name from rain photography to uh, anime photography. You know, I'm just trying to niche down and now this year I am going to be focusing on the, the anime daytime stuff. So I hope you like that. Anyways. Real location, go check it out. It's not that far from Tokyo. Post, uh, post there on Instagram and tag me when you get there. I, I want to see what's up. And I'll see you around.